Hello FPL fans and welcome back to the channel, today we've got the best player picks for FPL Gamery 27. In this video we're going to be having a look at 5 players which will be definitely worthwhile having a look at to bring into the squads for this game week because they're in great form or they have some very nice fixtures for this game week. So just before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to show support for the channel and share this video with your friends if you guys are enjoying this type of content. With that being said, let's get into the video. So taking a look at the first player on the list it is Ilkay Gundogan. Gundogan is coming in at 6.2 million pounds and has an ownership of 37.2%. For game week 27, he faces Manchester United at home and Southampton at home as Man City are one of the very few teams with a double game week. Gundogan has been great value for his price tag, really in 132 FPL points as he has been prolific since taking on that cam role for Man City. In Gundogan's last 11 games, he has recorded 8 goals and 3 assists and is in great form coming into this double game week. Pep has recently said that he should be starting for these next two matches as he was given a rest but did get subbed on in his match against the Wolves. Gundogan is the 4th highest scrim midfielder in FPL but in the last 3 matches he has only managed 1 assist. This is partially because of De Bruyne coming back, as in the first two matches De Bruyne was back, Gundogan did blank twice, and then in the most recent game he was benched. I am thinking this was just rotation though, as he said he should be starting, so I am backing him in for some points. As I said before, Man City is only one of the two teams that have a double game week, as they face up with Manchester United and Southampton, which is looking like some very nice fixtures, especially considering that both these teams have not been in the best form recently. Moving on to the second player on the list, it is Jao Cancelo. He is coming in at 6.2 million pounds with an ownership of 26%. This makes him the highest owned defender in FPL, but has been incredible value for his 109 FPL points so far. He obviously has this double game against Manchester United and Southampton, which is looking very good for Man City. Also, these two games do look likely for some clean sheets for Man City, as they are so solid defensively, and Manchester United and Southampton both struggle to score goals in game week 26. This season, Cancelo has scored 109 FPL points, which makes him the fourth highest scoring defender, as he's got himself one goal, two assists, and 12 clean sheets, highlighting his all round capabilities. I just think with Cancelo's incredible attacking positioning and his constant attacking threat, combined with his consistency of clean sheets, he would be a great option to have in this double game week for Man City. Moving on to the third player on the list, it is another Manchester City player in Riyad Mahrez. He is definitely more of a differential part for game week 27. He's coming in at 8.1 million pounds with a very low 3.6% ownership. He obviously has a double game week against Manchester United and Southampton, which does provide the extra opportunity for him to get attacking returns. Mahrez is actually the 14th highest scoring midfielder in the game, tied with De Bruyne on points. He's got himself 7 goals and 5 assists this season and has been in very good form recently. In Mahrez's last 4 matches, he has ruled in 33 FPL points, getting himself 2 goals and 3 assists. Over these 4 matches, he's been given 90 minutes in every single one and he's looking like more of a nail and an option in that Man City team. Obviously this is a quite a risky thing to say as Pep does rotate the squad quite a lot, but with a string of 4 matches in a row and some very good form, you could almost say Mahrez is confirmed to play at least one of the next two, potentially both of them. If he does, he could be a very good differential punt, especially for the short term. If you guys are looking to take on those differential options to rise up the ranks and a good cheap alternative to Kevin De Bruyne. So moving on to the fourth player on the list, it is El Ghazi. El Ghazi is coming in at 5.3 million pounds with a very low 0.9% ownership, meaning he could be another good differential option for this game week. This week he faces up with Wolverhampton at home, which is a decent fixture as he has recorded 66 FPL points so far. Wolves have just come off the back of conceding 4 goals to Manchester City and are looking a bit shaky in defence. El Ghazi has recently got a run of appearances in that Aston Villa side as he has started in 3 out of their last 3 matches. Over this time period he has recorded 15 points in 3 games which is decent from a player that has been out for a while. Over this time period he has got himself 1 goal and 3 bonus points which is nice to see for the manager. This could lead to him playing once again in game week 27, as despite Grealish coming back, El Ghazi could take Bertrand Traore's place and start once again. If he does, he could be a good differential punt, as a lot of people will be going for Jack Grealish, and since El Ghazi can get into those streaks where he scores quite a lot of goals, it could be a good time to jump on him as well. Also considering that Aston Villa have their next four fixtures of Wolves, Newcastle, Spurs and Fulham, it could be a good time to capitalise on the fixed return for Aston Villa. 
So now moving on to the fifth and final player on the list, it is Harry Kane. Kane is coming in at 11.1 million pounds with an ownership of 32.9%. This week he faces Crystal Palace at home, which is looking like a very nice fixture, especially considering Kane has scored 161 FPL points so far. Kane did get on the score sheet in his most recent match against Burnley, as he has got himself two goals in his last four appearances. Obviously Kane is such a good option to have in FPL, as he is one of the top scoring players in the game, and does provide such consistent returns for his owners. Also, Spurs have some very nice fixtures after game week 27, as they face Arsenal, Aston Villa and Newcastle as their next three after next game week. So if you can afford him and don't currently own him, then Harry Kane is definitely one to look out for, as Crystal Palace are normally quite shaky at the back. So that's what I've got for today for the best player picks of FPL Gaming 27. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, so if you did give it a like and subscribe to show support for the channel. And once again, share this video with your friends if you guys are enjoying this type of content. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.